And the cards are in the air once again. The 2010 Aussie Millions high stakes cash game is well underway. Action is on our Hungarian billionaire Sandor Demjan, who gets out of the way, as does Masa Kagawa from Japan. Dan Shack, the winner of our 100k challenge. Well, he's got pocket ducks, and he makes it 2100 to go. And look at this Tom Dwan has pocket kings. And look, well, that's extraordinary. He calls there. And that's the kind of player he is. He does take big risks. Very sneaky. But that can blow up in your face, so be careful trying that in your home game. Standard move there would be to raise and isolate Jack. Chris Ferguson. Well, he's got pocket threes in the big blind, and he calls. Yeah, so yeah. three to the flop. Might be hoping to catch a lucky flop. And the flop is king, oh. queen, three. So set on set. Chris Ferguson with a set of threes checks his set of threes but Tom Dwan sitting in a beautiful position with the nuts a set of kings and look at this <laughs> Dan Shack with the worst hand is reaching for chips yeah, that's a little probing bet he's gonna find out where he is pretty fast he certainly will now how does Durr play this this is just a call here Makes the call. Well, nothing too hinky there. And what Ferguson a... sitting there with a set must think he's good. He's been waiting for this one. Remember, he checked it. He's seen a bet and a call. There's a king and a queen out there. He won't want any draws to catch up, so he should bump it up here. And that's exactly what he does. 25,000. A no-nonsense raise here. Virtually declaring the strength of his hand, really. Shaq's interest in this particular hand will be now over. He has got to know that his twos are no good. And back over to Tom Dwan now, who is holding the nuts. And he's got Chris Ferguson betting into him. it look as though this is a massive decision the bad news for Chris Ferguson is that Andrew Feldman has already folded the case three so there is no way on God's green creation he is going to win this one and look at Dwan staring Chris Ferguson down trying to figure out what he's got so he can extract as many chips as possible that is the aim he just makes the call deciding that he's going to continue this trap. The turn of four of hearts does not change the situation. Chris Ferguson with a monster hand, but Dwan with the nuts. Will Ferguson pick up a read on Dwan, or will he fire again? Well, it's so hard for even a great player to get away from this. Set over set is the professional's nightmare. And it looks as though Ferguson is going to be digging his own grave, looking at chips and now reaching for them. Ferguson is going to fire again. He bets 55,000. And that is sweet music to Tom Dwan because he now knows that Chris Ferguson has committed himself to the rest of this pot. He can go all in. He doesn't have to be too subtle or pussyfoot around here. Remember, if he moves all in, and if Chris Ferguson calls, there will be nearly a quarter of a million dollars. Real cash in the middle of this table, and he goes all in. There is the announcement. Tom Dwan has sprung the trap. Can't imagine Chris Ferguson folding here. He puts the rest of his chips in the middle, shows his hand, and total disgust for Chris Ferguson seeing the hand. Yeah, two monster hands, one monster pot. Chris Ferguson, he's got a photographic memory, but he is going to want to forget this one. It's going to be haunting him. A quarter of a million dollars gone. This river card means nothing. Tom Dwan cannot lose. All he can do is enjoy the hurt he's just put on Jesus. The river is an ace of diamonds. 
Chris Ferguson loses approximately $120,000 in the biggest pot of this cash game so far. Yeah, 